What is going on guys and welcome to this episode of Jag Fishing. Today I am going to go over the top two lures you can possibly use when walleye fishing in the early spring. Now guys it is super cold today, it is about 25 degrees outside, it is freezing but the walleye are in that water right there and we're going to go after them and we're going to climb down there and I'm going to go over some of the best techniques and lures for you to catch those walleye out of that water right there or your body of water wherever you're fishing this is going to help you stay tuned all right so we made it down to the bank we're by the river we're ready to start fishing but before we do that i'm going to go over some of these ways that you guys are going to catch early spring walleye using these guys right here bucktail jigs now i want to give you guys a close-up of this there it is this one is kind of like a neon green Y on top and it is actually a half ounce jig head okay um i like I, I usually go quarter ounce but in this case i'm going to be using a half ounce because i like to cast all across the river and just work my way back now when fishing this thing early spring you guys want to give it soft nice easy little bounces off the bottom okay we're not fishing aggressively these fish are sluggish as i said before it's about 25 degrees out here the water is probably around 38 degrees right now so what we want to do is we want to work this thing slowly on the bottom that's all we're doing guys right here this is all we're doing up reeling the slack pick it up reeling the slack now we're not doing anything aggressive like that quick that's that's too much for these walleye right now they're lethargic it's cold outside it's cold underwater right now we're going to slowly pick it up throw it down slowly pick it up and reel in the slack that's all we're doing picking it up reeling in the slack because all that's doing is ensuring that we have as much tension on our line as we can and now it's just a waiting game There we go, fish on guys, fish on, fish on. There we go, there we go guys, <laughs> yeah. Gotta fix my drag a little bit. What do we got? Yep, beautiful, we got a walleye, anticipated species. There we go guys, there we go, there we go. Not a bad one, okay. There it is guys. Just as I told you guys, these bugtail jigs work really, really well on these fish. He hit it very subtly because it is cold. These things are really, really sluggish right now. So we're just going to remove this thing. We're going to throw him back. And there it is, guys. Our first walleye of the day on the bucktail jig. We're going to see if we can catch a couple more and then we'll move on to some other stuff. All right. All right, guys, that was absolutely awesome. It's so much fun getting the first fish of the day. It's like, all right, heck yeah. I'm actually going to be able to show my viewers that I know what I'm talking about, and there's no skunk. Now, when fishing a river for walleye, what you guys want to do is you guys want to try to find the current break. Um, in this case, I don't know if the camera on top of me is catching it. You guys can see kind of where the slack water is. That is the current break. So what I do is I actually cast out as far as I can and then I slowly work my way into the current break. And usually that's where the fish are. You do catch fish in the current um, quite often, but more times than not, you're going to actually end up getting your bites and all your hits on the current break. Here we go, fish on guys. We got ourselves another one. Oh yeah, got ourselves another one. There we go. Feels like a little guy, nothing crazy. I think he's small, but we definitely got another one on the bugtail jig. So there he is, he feels bigger now because he's in the current and I got him in the current break. And yep, just a little walleye, probably a little 14 inch or so. There he is. Come here buddy, come here. There it is guys, second fish, second walleye of the day. And you guys can see right there on the bucktail jig, right through the top of the mouth, totally messed this guy up. Um, he, he actually attacked this thing pretty hard, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, good looking fish right there. We're gonna release this guy. 
So there it is guys, I'm not kidding, look at this thing, it's ugly, it's beat up, it's a bucktail jig, and it does the job, okay? You don't gotta spend a lot of money on fancy lures, get yourself a couple of bucktail jigs, fish the way I'm telling you to fish, and you are gonna catch yourself some walleye. Pay attention guys, this is all we're doing, reeling in the slack, slowly picking it up off the bottom. The only time we're actually reeling or doing anything fast, oh, 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 there we go, got another one guys, oh yeah. <laughs> I was just telling you guys, you got to do this slow. You got to reel in very slowly. You just got to bounce this thing ever so gently on the bottom. And that's all it takes, guys. It's, it's, it's not that hard. You just got to find what they like. Because if I'm jigging real quick, these things are not going to go for it. They're not going to be interested. There it is. Another walleye. This guy's about, oh, I don't know, 14 inches also. Little guy. And get this guy off the hook. There it is guys, another walleye on the bucktail jig. This, this guy was barely hanging on, but yeah, we got another one. Heck yeah, I'm telling you guys, this is the way to catch fish. Leave me a comment down below if you actually went out fishing after watching this video and it helped you out. Yeah! Alright guys, so I did show you that the bugtail jig works, I did show you how to use it properly in this time of year. The fish are more sluggish, they're lethargic, you want to do it nice and slow. Only time we're reeling in quick is to get that slack out of the way, okay? We want to keep a tight line as much as we can. The bites are not going to be the fish smacking it, they're going to be very, very, very subtle. The other method I like to use while fishing for walleye is actually, well, very similar to what we just did with the bugtail jig. We are still going to be jigging. However, we are going to be using a different lure and this works extremely well. So guys, we are going to be using some Kitex, okay? These are called the Kitex Swing Impact. These are three and a half inch. I have white ones, I have black ones, I have brown ones, all sorts of colors. These things are really, really, really good. They work super good for the walleye. I highly recommend these guys. One more look for you guys. There it is. These little guys work amazing. Now, what I do is I like to put a quarter ounce jig head on it, just like this one. Let me uh, show you guys. There it is. And I just put one of these on. So I'm going to put this on right now. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. And I'm going to show you how effective these things are as well. You do the same exact thing what I told you guys to do with the bucktail jig except now we're fishing with swim baits. This has a lot more action. Sometimes when you're having trouble with the bucktail jigs, they're just not hitting them. Throw on one of these, it has a lot more action. That tail goes pretty crazy and that'll entice the walleye to hit this thing. Um, it works great. I This is actually my number one go-to lure when it comes to walleye fishing under any circumstances, whether it be the spring, summer, or fall. This is my go-to, and it's also a really good bait for bass as well, if that's what you guys are into. There we go, got one. Got one, finally. Oh yeah. Why is he up on top? What's going on here? What's going on here? Is it just a little guy? Is that why? Are you the one that's been stealing all my Kai Tuck tails, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, come here, you. Come here. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now, this guy actually completely annihilated it. <laughs> he freaking swallowed it big time. But here you guys go. I want to show you guys. There's the Kai Tech in its mouth right there. Okay, and got ourselves another little walleye. So, there we go. And of course, he took the tailless Kai Tech. Okay, <laughs> we, uh, we had to throw one out with no tail. And uh, there it is, guys. Another walleye. This is number five of the day. Um, so as you guys can see, the Kai Tech works as well. Um, probably just as good as the bucktail jig. It's got a lot more action. I'm gonna go ahead and say the Kai Tech actually works better. But this is what it's about, guys. Look at that. Look at that little Walter head right there. That these fish are delicious. They're fun. They're a good time. And this is how you catch them. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch to a different color. This is called the black shad. I'm gonna take one of these out for you. 
And I want you guys to check this one out. This one is actually like a black and blue color. It is effective. I've caught a lot of walleye on these too. Now, there it is guys, okay? It's got like a blue belly and a black back. And we're gonna throw this thing on using the same jig head as I was before. These things are very effective as well. Um, yeah, the, the action on these Kitex is just absolutely amazing. Highly recommend them for you guys. Highly recommend them. Okay, and just as I said in the beginning of the video, same as the bucktail jig, all we're doing is just gently lifting it up off the bottom, reeling in that slack. That's all we're doing. And when the time comes when you lift it up and you feel some pressure, you set the hook and it's game on. All right, guys, we're still working on the black shad over here, this Kitek three and a half inch swing impact. Oh, I think. Oh, yep, just as I was saying that, we had one. It was such a subtle bite. Oh my goodness. Gotta bring the drag up a little bit. He's in the current, so he feels a lot bigger. But yeah, uh, the bite is so subtle. These fish are lethargic right now. You can barely feel it, but the Kitek, I'm telling you guys, as soon as it drops, they are all over it. That's why I'm losing all these tails and everything. They absolutely love it. Oh, this ain't a bad one either. This ain't a bad one either. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got ourselves another one. This is this would be a nice eater right here. This is about a 16, 7 inch walleye if we were keeping them today, which we're not. We're just doing this little fun, fun video over here for you guys. Right there. There's the proof. Right there. There's the Kitek. There's the walleye to follow. Beautiful fish right here. So guys i i'm telling you right here this is what it's about if you guys want to catch a lot of these walleyes and you want something effective go with the bucktail jigs go with the kitek swing impact um colors yeah personal preference i mean you guys saw it i caught a couple on the white i caught a couple on the black and blue this is where it's at guys there you go look at that thing Ooh, let's let this guy go all right, guys, we're going to keep on keeping on with this black Kitek over here. Now, guys, this is not like some secret spot. This is public waters right here. Anybody can fish it. I'm not fishing some specific part of a river that's stocked and, you know, these walleye can't go here. No, I'm just using the right techniques and I'm using the right lures at the right time. And that can be anybody literally guys just take my advice from this video and you can be slamming all these walleye too this is some real sketchy stuff i'm standing on over here man Whew, it's all clay Ooh. fish on there we go just like that Whew. as i'm talking about i gotta watch my step because this is all clay we get hit got a walleye seems like a little guy you know he's gonna get a lot bigger once he hits the current but nothing special but as i've been telling you guys all day you know you just got to know what to use oh this is a real small guy you just got to have the right lure the right bait and the right equipment for the job and you got to know how to work it and when you figure that out these walleye come so easy look at that thing guys nice little maybe 14 inch eye just a little guy but nevertheless fun fun to catch now, throughout this entire video, I keep emphasizing, I keep telling you guys, you got to do it slow, okay? You got to do it slow. Now, keep in mind that once the water gets warmer and they become more aggressive, they are not going to want to really go for the slow stuff. They're going to want something quick. So, your retrieve, oh, I think I already got another one. Yep, there we go. Got another one. Your retrieve in the warmer weather is going to, oh, come on, little guy. Your retrieve during the warmer weather is going to need to be quicker. It's going to need to be more aggressive, maybe faster, maybe double tap. And that's what will do it then. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. But right now, the reason I'm catching these walleye is simply because it is very cold. They're sluggish, and I am doing it at their pace. It is okay, buddy. Okay, easy there. Uh, it is almost effortless because I am slowing it down. If you do it too quick, these guys are not even going to bother. So there it is, guys. Let me come a little closer to the camera. 
got yet another walleye probably about 14 15 inches nothing special there it is gonna let him go hopefully we are gonna be able to get a big one see you buddy and again guys like i've been stressing all video okay let it drop pick it up reel down the slack pick it up reel down the slack pick it up that's all we're doing that's all we're doing you're gonna get used to it. You're gonna know where the bottom's at. Um, it's even better if you're familiar with what the bottom looks like where you're fishing, because then you feel a little pressure. You're gonna be able to determine whether or not that's a fish. All right, guys, so just to switch things up a little bit, I have one more of these white Kitex. I'm gonna throw that one on there, and hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish on this too. I mean, I'm just switching colors for fun right now. Not that the bite is not going well for us because it's going very well i just want to see how many we can get on what color today it seems like the black and blue shad was where the money's at but hey right on demand i just got another one on the white first cast we just casted out the white kai tech and we got a fish on the line this one feels fairly decent too this might be a better one we'll see especially now it's in the current uh where are you at buddy where are you at yeah, just an average size walleye, actually. That's pretty neat. Yeah, come on, buddy. Come on. Yep, there it is. There it is. <sighs> on the white Kai Tech. Whew, man, just like that. On demand. We got ourselves another one. First cast on the white Kai Tech. I just switched it out just because I felt like it. And there it is, guys. Got a little walleye, heck yeah. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. It was a good time, it was fun. We caught a lot of fish. I hope you guys um, got to understand the concept of how to fish slower when the water is colder, how to almost work the lures the right way and appropriately to match the speed, if you will, of the fish. Um, just because they're an aggressive fish and they will hammer away and slam your lures in the summertime doesn't mean this is how it's going to be in the spring, okay? Um, definitely go with bucktail jigs. Definitely try out the Kai Tech guys. Let me know how you guys like it. Fish it the way I told you to fish it. And please come back to this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if it worked for you. Guys, if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you guys could possibly consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below anyway. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, tight lines.